Hi, welcome to the Lux channel. So this is a data structure uh, uh, which is quite uh, interesting because it's been uh, referred in uh, multiple places and uh, uh, essentially it, you can find uh, various uh, instances or various APIs you can find a StructNet data structure reference and this is something I have discussed in uh, uh, various episodes I believe in uh, uh, namespace the episodes about containers and namespaces I was discussing about uh, networking namespaces so you can see here I have discussed uh, the struct net uh, over here uh, it's about uh, net namespace dot h so if you go here you can find this uh, data structure struct net the most interesting aspect of this data structure is it's as I said it's extensively uh, you can find in various APIs and uh, if you see the proc variables, uh, syscontrol uh, proc variables uh, about IPv4, uh, TCP, uh, you know, control uh, parameters. So within uh, the struct net data structure, uh, the most interesting uh, data structure you can find is, uh, you know, NetNS uh, series of uh, uh, data structures. You can see here struct NS IPv4, struct NS IPv6 and stuff like that. So this episode is uh, specifically about uh, struct NS uh, uh, data structure. Uh, and uh, we can uh, discuss about IPv4 within the same. The reason is if you go to the proc, you know, file system, you can see here uh, proc is net, uh, you know, file path or directory path inside. If you go to IPv4, if you uh, see here it contains all these uh, files. And if you just cat any such files randomly, you can see here. It has these uh, values and uh, you can find uh, some uh, default values. So, let's take these examples. So you can file each one has a default value which you can control, you can fine tune and stuff like that. So this is something I was uh, doing something, uh, I was uh, changing and I was experimenting uh, sometimes uh, some couple of years back I suppose. Uh, and this is something I was doing on a uh, tiny IoT arm or uh, some kind of network appliance port. This is not on mundane uh, x86 uh, device. I was doing it in some kind of small uh, board and I was just uh, checking the TCPA performance and how I can uh, change its uh, you know, performance characteristics for that sort of a WAN network. So when I was doing, I was touching these uh, data structures and then uh, I was completely out of touch. I thought today to discuss this data structure, it is quite interesting. <laughs> So if you go back here, you have this uh, series of uh, data structures linked to struct net and the struct net you can find it in include net uh, net namespace dot h you know include folder. So if you check here, you have this uh, net ns ipv6 and ipv4. So we go to uh, this data structure uh, header file you can see here it is in uh, include net uh, net ns ipv4 dot h. So if you click uh, you can find the data structure, it has various uh, member variables. If you little scroll down, it has all the syscontrol uh, variables. So this is what <laughs> caught my attention and I thought, uh, let me discuss uh, this episode. So you, if you see here, all these variables uh, correspond to this files inside, uh, you know, proc file system inside the sysnet ipv4 folder. So if you go here, it has all these files and uh, what is more interesting is where this exactly <laughs> being referred. So if you go to the path, you can go to uh, net IPv4 and inside net IPv4, let's take example like uh, tcp.c. So for instance, if you pick uh, tcp.c and if you go somewhere below, you have this init of entire uh, tcp.c uh, uh, or tcp stack itself. So you, you have this. Uh, init uh, uh, tcp init api and inside the tcp init you have all this uh, api so you can see here somewhere it has these references and most importantly you have this uh, inside it has another api like uh, tcp v4 init so if you just check that it is inside net ipv4 tcp underscore ipv4 dot c so this is just another file versus this is tcp.c the other one is uh, you know tcp underscore ipv4.c so if you come here it has certain uh, you know interesting init apis and one among the init api is a tcp socket init so you can see here it started from this api tcp underscore v4 init and inside that you have this uh, tcp sk ops uh, which is operations you can see here it is nothing but this and this has this uh, tcp sk init 
uh, you know function pointer registered over here so inside you see here you have this struct net data structure instance the struct net data structure instance is nothing but you have this inside the header file net underscore namespace dot h and uh, that has this uh, member variable which is uh, net ns uh, underscore ipv4 and that is what is this because you can see here net ns ipv4 is nothing but ipv4 so that is what is this and to this it has all this variables and it has all this units defined over here so we can pick few examples and we can check whether it corresponds to this uh, your proc entry you know file values so we can pick something like randomly uh, we can take uh, yeah something like uh, you can see here sys control uh, tcp fin uh, timeout so we can pick this uh, uh, default value so if you see the source it is in uh, net tcp dot h and uh, if you see here it's hash defined uh, value is uh, uh, timeout uh, time uh, wait length the fin timeout is this and this is this it has this value of 60 hertz so we can just confirm uh, cat tcp fin timeout you can see its uh, value corresponds to that so similarly you can just uh, check a couple of other variables uh, you can uh, check uh, keep idle if it is mentioned here tcp keep alive time yeah 7200 zero. And you can see here it has this value i think if you multiply it should tally so 120 star 60 yeah it tallies out so you can see here it has all this uh, defaults and all these defaults have been assigned here and this is all happening as a part of you know tcp uh, stack initialization within the ipv4 stack of networking subsystem of linux kernel source so this is what you can trace so this is quite interesting as i said if you want to tweak these values uh, you can do it uh, from user space via this uh, proc uh, uh, files but if you see the actual source of this proc files this is where it corresponds to so this way it gives that uh, better uh, picture where exactly these uh, you know control variables have been defined and the uh, data structure which is involved to encapsulate all this uh, control files and then its other data structure which is also encapsulating that particular uh, you know net ns uh, data structure so which is nothing but our you know struct net data structure so this is something important if you uh, deal uh, about uh, you know um, uh, containers and namespaces because this is something extensively I have discussed in that episode because using a namespace you are getting an entire network namespace uh, that's sort of you know isolation and uh, stuff like that so essentially you are going to uh, create anytime a namespace it is also creating all that isolation within that namespace and that is where it gets very crazy so even before understanding the kernel part of the same you have to understand all these data structures so you can go through this episode in case if you are curious and then you can hop on and then you can go through the other episodes uh, which i have uh, discussed about a few other variables so i mean few other uh, uh, you know uh, data structures like uh, over here i have discussed about a struct sock and a struct socket uh, and a few other stuff besides uh, your uh, you know uh, linux kernel sk buff data structure udp header ethernet header and uh, stuff like that so this is uh, uh, quite uh, interesting these two data structures are as i said it has a very important role one is uh, entirely the stack initialization is nothing but you have the sys control variables which are exposed through proc file system as i said they can have multiple ways they can do the same you can do via io control uh, 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 interface or you can do via proc so whichever way you want you can expose but they chose to in, uh, expose these variables as a part of sys control variables which you can change using this uh, proc interface uh, you can uh, do it via user space a simple file operation and then you can tweak these uh, variables and you can change the tcp performance characteristics of the th system hey before wrapping up this episode i would like to announce uh, that i'm giving this uh, free sponsored giveaway gifts given by the sponsors uh, uh, for the linux channel so 
द फ्यू लकी यू विनर्स आर गोइंग टू गेट कंप्लीट रेस्पेरी पाई किट्स सम में गेट ओनली पाई सेंसर किट दे कैन यूज इट विथ रेस्पेरी पाई और आर्ड्रीनो और वॉट एवर द आई ओ टी प्रोजेक्ट्स दे वर्क एंड अदर दैन दैट सम में गेट बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गिफ्ट एंड सम में गेट डी वाई रोबैटिक गिफ्ट एंड एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ आई ओ टी प्रोजेक्ट किट एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट सो ऑल दिस गिफ्ट आर क्वाइट रैंडम I haven't got it yet with me. Otherwise, I could have shown some few samples. So, so the lucky winners are going to get these gifts uh, directly shipped to their addresses. Uh, in case uh, if the sponsors have, uh, you know, given these gifts to me, then I need to send it directly from my end, or else they may directly send uh, to the winners or uh, directly to their, you know, shipment address. So, hope you guys loved watching this video. In case if you have anything to discuss, uh, be in touch via mail. Thanks a lot for joining me. Stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye bye.